Well, hello there. We're in our kind of a wrap-up uh, module or lesson on enzymes, although we'll mention enzymes briefly in uh, some future uh, modules. Uh, this is the last biggie. And so you are directed to a section of your textbook. I've got a copy of the textbook set right here. I've got the same questions you do, and I'm knocking things around on my desk here. But uh, the first question is very simply based on this particular section of the textbook, this paragraph, as a matter of fact, what is an enzyme? And so what does it say? It's a type of what kind of molecule? A protein. A protein is, of course, a one of the how many kinds of macromolecules, how many categories? One of the four categories. So enzymes are proteins. And what do those proteins do? What is their job description? They accelerate something. What is that? They accelerate a chemical reaction. They make chemical reactions go faster. Hmm, next question. How many enzymes are known to exist? Well, according to that paragraph right there, it says what? Hmm, thousands, yes, thousands. Now, wait a minute. In an earlier unit, uh, there's a question about how many enzymes might be found just in uh, just someplace, and the answer was something. What was the question and what was the answer? How many enzymes might be found in what kind of cell? Yeah, an animal cell. And what was the answer? 4,000. But, uh, um, but here it just says thousands. Why is that? Why can't we get a specific number? Do you suppose plants have enzymes that animals don't? Fungi have enzymes that plants and animals don't? Yeah. How many uh, enzymes are there out in enzyme land? Who knows? Thousands. Thousands of enzymes. And so uh, the next question is, why are there so many different enzymes? Why are there so many different enzymes? Well, uh, we mentioned earlier about enzymes. They are what? They are specialized. Specialized to what? What enzymes do again? They accelerate what? They accelerate chemical reactions. So each enzyme must be specialized to a particular reaction, particular chemical reaction. And so I directed you to a picture in your book about Mr. Blue Guy and Mr. Red Guy. And so Mr. Blue Guy works on Mr. Red Guy. Mr. Blue Guy doesn't work on Mr. Green Guy or Mr. Pink Guy or Mr. Somebody Else Guy. Uh, Mr. Blue Guy is specialized to work on Mr. Red Guy. That's all Mr. Blue Guy does. What am I simulating here? I'm simulating the what part of an enzyme? The active site that closes over the what? The substrate and changes it some way. And, uh, and so each enzyme is specialized to what? Its substrate. A particular enzyme to a particular substrate. And what magic word did we have earlier that explains why that would be? What is critical to the functioning of all proteins? Every protein has a particular shape. That's right. So each active site has a particular shape. Each substrate has a particular shape that fits into a particular active site. And so the active site closes over the substrate and changes it. Which brings us to the last question in this little section. What are three general activities performed by enzymes? Well, I'm looking at the very last sentence there. It says three things. Uh, actually, the last couple sentences. And so three possible things can happen to Mr. Red Guy when Mr. Blue Guy closes over him. Well, actually... Uh, a something very specific happens to Mr. Red Guy, but when an enzyme closes over its substrate, one of three things is going to take place. What are those three things? The substrate might be what? What's the first thing your textbook says? The substrate might be split. That's what actually happens to Mr. Red Guy. He gets split into two smaller molecules, and he's not Mr. Red Guy anymore. He's, you know, two little red guys, maybe. So, the substrate might be split. I can't really simulate that too well with my little uh, substrate here. What's, uh, what's another thing that can happen to the substrate? Well, it says uh, uh, besides splitting, the substrate might be combined. It might be actually two smaller um, subs, uh, subunits combined to form a larger one. We talked about that a long time ago when we hooked two glycines together, did we not? An enzyme combined those two glycines together. And so uh, that's what happened, splitting, combining. One other thing might possibly happen to that uh, substrate that uh, your textbook mentions. Besides the substrate being split, can't simulate that, combined, you know, together, 
uh, what's the other thing? The substrate molecules might be rearranged to form a different type of molecule. Again, I can't simulate that too well. But again, when uh, a blue guy grabs a red guy or an enzyme grabs a substrate, one of three things happens to the substrate. What are they? It either gets split, combined, that would be two subunits combining, or what? Rearranged some way. All right, so that's uh, kind of a primer on enzymes and enzyme activity. Uh, kind of a review, actually, a lot of that. So uh, that's it for this one.